Right, so I'll, I'll sort all this out and I'll come back to you a week on Thursday. No, I don't. Right, so we're on the internet now. So, next. Now we have some important setup to do. Important setup to do. I just thought I'd show you what you have to go through to to actually get one of these set up. I won't be doing it for very long, I'm hoping. Now let's see what's new from Windows. I don't need to see what's new from Windows. I know what it's doing, it's updating Next itself. Up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Well then what? What if I decline Windows? As if you're going to read all that. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. She's making out, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll catch up with you when that's done. Type your email address. How long does she think it's going to take me to type an email address in? Anyway, I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll, I'll sort it all out. I'll uh, probably take me about a fortnight to get it all working. We'll sort it out and I'll get back to you. See you in a bit. Hello, I'm Smithy. This is my Contiki. Now then, Old Faithful has decided to bite the dust. What a shame. Been a good, uh, good little laptop. That it was. Uh, I'll tell you what it was. Uh, a ProBook. Is it HP? Yep, yeah, HP ProBook 4535S. And it's been a great laptop to me. It's, I've done all sorts on that. Every YouTube video I've ever made has been made on that laptop. But it's in its day. That's the old USB for the. Uh, Well, why don't every car in the country just drive past? We're supposed to be on lockdown. Yeah, so I'll be taking that out, uh, the mouse, because I can still use that. But that's been a good laptop to me. So, what we've done, we've done some essential shopping, but Argos is still, it's in Sainsbury's, so it's, and it's still open. So anyway, we've... Uh, we bought the Lenovo and I'll just tell you what uh, what laptop it is you have to bear with me because I'm not the best at this tech stuff right it's a Lenovo IdeaPad S145 15.6 inch Pentium 4 gig so it's a Pentium 4 gig processor with a 128 gig laptop in grey. £299. Um, that's all it says. So I'd imagine 128 gig must be the, the hard drive size and the, it's a Pentium 4 gig. Anyway, on the other laptop, when I was doing uh, my processing with Phil Mora, it. Uh, I could put a half an hour video on there, or well, most of them were 10 minutes, but I started to do them a bit longer, 20 minutes. And uh, it got to a stage where when you put your video on and you edit it in Filmora, you've got to process the video. I hope you can see me alright with the sunshine. I won't know till I look back, although I do have a screen facing me, so I know you can see me, but it's, it's how, how bad the sun is. I made a video the other day with the uh, iPod, not iPod, what do you call it? Is it an iPod? No, an iPod's a music player, isn't it? Uh, a GoPro! So I, I did a video on a GoPro, although with having a wide angle lens I looked about 6 stone. I'm not 6 stone, I weigh about 13 and a half to be fair. But uh, you, you know, you could, the, the sunshine was shining in a way. It looked, looked well. It was all right, but anyway. 
So let's get this open. Does it open or not? You just pull it out. I see. What have we got in here? Warranty card, setup series, mains leave. I don't know what that type of plug is. That's it, that's, that's, that's that. More crap for the bin. As I say, Lancashire. Right. That looks a weird plug to me. Does it come off or something? No. So that's your plug. You see that? That mad thing there. Now obviously I'm in a, a motorhome, so to power this I've got to go through an inverter, which is not plugged in at the minute, so we're alright, but that's the plug. I don't like to plug that into the wall, kids or dogs would knock that out, wouldn't they? Anyway, let's have a look at the old uh, thing, that's my phone. So first impressions, it's very light, Lenovo. I might keep that just to protect it, you know, because it obviously fits, doesn't it? So you get that in in the in the actual thing. So that's what it looks like. It's like a nifty, very thin. I don't know if you can see how thin that is. If I close it and put that to my old one, you see how far technology's moved on. I don't know if you can. Which way am I going there? So anyway. Lenovo. So yeah, I'm going to keep that. That goes on the keyboard, and it might just keep it nice and uh, nice and clean. Two-sided narrow bezel, whatever one of them is. It's a stylish design, and it's Dolby Sound. E support is a, a thing that you scan on your your phone, and it's an Intel Pentium Gold. So I'd imagine it's going to be quite a quick laptop, I would hope. Right, let's have a look. Idea Pad one S one four five series setup guide, right? And that's all in foreign, is it? Microphone camera, microphone wireless. All right, there is some English, so they've done it in as many languages as possible. But I mean, you don't have to set a, a laptop up; you just plug it in and switch on. Um, apparently it's got, let's have a look what it's got, so it's got a card reader there, which is what I needed, earphone input, uh, doesn't look like you can take the battery out, like you could on the HP one, you could take the battery off. Uh, on the side we've got what looks like, uh, we've got HDMI, power, and there's three USB ports, I would imagine one of them is a faster, a newer version of the other two, I would have thought. I don't know what you call the newer version, but that's what I would have thought it is. So let's power it on. The only problem I've got now, right, is I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to update everything with Google, so that I've got everything back on Google. So. Windows 10 in S mode. That's all foreign. You'd think in this day and age, they could, surely they know what country they're shipping them to, rather than just one big warehouse in one country. Windows 10. So there is nothing on that. Windows 10. There's nothing on this piece that's in English, I can see. Let's have a look. Right, English, one tiny little piece. Windows 10 in S mode works exclusively with Microsoft verified apps found in the Microsoft Store within Windows and accessories that are compatible in Windows 10 in S mode. A one way switch out of S mode is available. Look at windows.com for more, more info. I don't know any, any about, anything about that. What I do know is anything to do with Microsoft on any app store is designed to get your cash. 
it's all money. Right, so what we've got, safety and warranty guard. Right, we don't need that. We've bought a mouse. We've got the HP, you can see that, uh, HP Z3700 wireless mouse. I've always liked wireless mouse. You can just have it on your knee anyway, you haven't got a mad wire trailing. So I'm hoping there's some batteries somewhere. Looks like they're in here. Now, Windows 10, it'll just find this mouse. mouse. It won't need... Uh... Oh, God. Lord, look at all that. There's more stuff in that than there is for a laptop. But it looks like it takes one battery. How do you get in it? Right. Connect. So you must have to push that button to connect. Didn't have to do that with my other mouse, so technology's moved on, makes it more difficult. You've probably got to turn the laptop on, put this on and then press connect all the time. That's technology for you. So how do you get the battery in there now? I'll just come apart. Yep, so you take the top off. Double A battery that way around. Right. That connected, yeah, and it's on, and it flashes blue. The other one was red. You can see that flashing blue. I don't know if you can or not. Right, let's start, let's power. Let's get this some power on. 150 watt inverter in there. Right. So we'll press power. Can you see that? I've pressed power, we've got nothing. Oh, here we are, it's coming on. Right. So I'll put that in in a bit. That's the USB. I'll put that in in a minute. I'll let it power up and do what it's doing. No doubt I've got to connect to Wi Fi and all that other stuff, haven't I? Oh. Right, I'm going to have to connect to Wi Fi, aren't I? Uh, facial recognition doesn't work when I've got my glasses on. Are we in? Uh... Right, what I'll do. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to connect it to the Wi Fi and uh, no doubt I'll have to set all Google, Google stuff up. So this is only going to be used. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn You must be able to touch the screen on this then to okay, do stuff. enough intro. Let's dig in. Anyway, so what I'm going to do... Should I hope? Is that right? No. Which region do you want to use? United Kingdom. I've got that you want to use the United Kingdom. Is that right? Yes. Yes. My Lancashire accent. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? No. No. Which keyboard do you want to use? United Kingdom. I've got that you want to use the United Kingdom. Is that right? Yes. 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 Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. What the keyboard layout is there? Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? No. Let's see if you can touch the screen. No. Maybe you can only touch the bottom bits. Anyway, so I'll connect to everything. I'll get it all up and running. Uh, 
I'll edit this video and the best way I can think of doing it so you can see whether this is a bit quicker than that was because remember if, uh, an example a 10 minute video on there processing would take a, at least half an hour so any longer video you would you know a 20 minute video would take an hour just in processing and then after you've processed it and re well, render it you then have to upload it to your laptop which would be the same time again so that's what that was giving me but I was happy enough I wasn't bothered you know I had all the time in the world who cares so that's that's what was happening with that one so I'll set this up uh, and then I'll finish this video off no how can I do it I've got another video that I, I'll, I'm going to do so I'll edit that video on this once I've edited it and everything else I'll click the render button and then we'll see how long it's going to take to render it. I'm hoping it's not as long as that was. This is obviously a modern laptop. And uh, being a Pentium, I'm hoping, you know, that's why I bought it with Pentium 4. So anyway, we'll see. So I'll get connected. I'll set it all up. I'll edit the video that I was going to do, edit anyway on there. <coughs> it's a good job I backed up to a external hard drive first anyway. Which is what I always do. And uh, we want that one so I'll sort this out we'll do that and I'll let you know how so obviously this is just for my editing it's just, it's just for YouTube this so that's all I'm going to use it for the phone is for everything else um, I'll do that we'll, we'll render it and you'll see how long it takes to render and see how long it takes to upload to my laptop that's before I upload it to YouTube you don't need to know how long it takes to YouTube because it's not long anymore the Wi-Fi I've got is very very quick so I just thought I'd give you an unboxing of a new uh, Lenovo laptop, uh, the maker model of the model I've just told you before. So I can't remember what it is. It's an idea pad um, S145, and the mouse I showed you. It's a HP Z3700. And it comes with more paperwork than the laptop did. All that rubbish which is probably in every language on earth so what we should do is get a, sil a, a solid tub right? stick that in it waterproof bury it, coat it in lead and then in years to come people will find that and say oh look they spoke all them languages in that, that planet <laughs> we've all been wiped out or we've wiped each other out right so let me do that I'll do that and I'll come back to you and you'll see me soon. Look at all the crap I've got everywhere. Right, see in a bit. So that's it on. So just to let you know about the mouse, I don't know if you can see the screen or not. Um, the mouse didn't need any setting up. There is a button underneath it to press to connect, but it didn't need that, it's just on. So we're just on, it's working fine, you know. It's, that's why I like these wireless mouse. The wireless mouse I have for that uh, HP laptop, it's worked for over 18 months on the battery it's got in it, so it's, it's just gone forever. So, I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd let you know that point, that mouse just works, I just plugged, it, plugged the USB in, away it went, no problem whatsoever. So I just thought I'd just bring you back because it's using my phone to verify who I am. So it's not making things easy, uh, this is searching for something and it says, Google can sign you in on your phone as long as it's got a lock screen. So we've got that, now I've just got a thing going, a bar going across the phone. So I've got a choose a device. No eligible devices for app install. So I've got two phones there, and it won't let me choose one. So I don't know what's, what I'm doing. Why don't they just make stuff? I'm not going to swear on YouTube. Right, so I'll, I'll sort all this out and I'll come back to you a week on Thursday. No, I don't. So I just thought I'd just bring you back because it's using my phone to verify who I am. So it's not making things easy. Uh, this is searching for something and it says Google can sign you in on your phone as long as it's got a lock screen. So I've got that, now I've just got a thing going, a bar going across the phone. 
So I've got to choose a device. No eligible devices for app install. So I've got two phones there and it won't let me choose one. So I don't know what's, what I'm doing. Why don't they just make stuff? I'm not going to swear on YouTube. Right, this has been absolutely ridiculous. So apparently, you get a new laptop, it's running a thing called Windows S mode. And apparently you're not allowed to download anything that Windows don't agree with. Which is pathetic. Why can I not use Chrome? I like Chrome, it does all my browsing, it's on my phones, it's on everything. So, to use uh, Chrome on my laptop, which has got all my apps on, my photographs, it's got YouTube, it's got everything. <coughs> You've got to come out of S mode. Apparently it's a one way ticket. Uh, this laptop's streamlined to provide security and all this other nonsense from Microsoft. Which I wouldn't trust Microsoft with, with a barge pole. But anyway, so to be able to download Chrome, which has took me about an hour and a half, you've got to come out of this daft S mode, which then allows you to download whatever you want. Why would I need permission to download something that I want? I've, I don't need to ask you. I don't need your permission. Anyway, so that's what I've had to do. I've had to read a whole thing on it to find out about this S mode. My face recognition on my phone, it wouldn't accept it on there, all, all kinds of rubbish. I couldn't remember my password for Google. Anyway, so we're getting there now. It's actually downloading Google as we speak, but I've had to come out of this S mode. So, the, turn the laptop on, go straight into Microsoft and search S mode, turn it off. And then you can download whatever you want. Why would I only want Microsoft stuff? If I do, if I wanted to do that, I would say, right, send me a laptop that you only want me to watch, and I want it for free. Why? Do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It's like uh, Marks and Sen Spencer selling you a washing machine, and you're only allowed to wash their clothes in it. And if you put anything else, in, yeah, you put something in we don't recognise. Chrome's the biggest browser on earth. Anyway. I'll get back to you. I thought I'd just give you a little update. I've put the fire on. It was red hot before. So I had the sun out. I'm now freezing. There's Google on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. I've got it. But I'll tell you something. It's took me some time to do it. So just be aware of that S mode. That's Microsoft's attempt to get you to only have anything that's to do with Microsoft. I beg his belief how they're allowed to actually do that, but how are they allowed to just stick it on their stuff and you're not allowed anybody else's? I wasn't allowed to have Chrome, and if I want Chrome, I've got to log out of Microsoft's S mode, security mode, fast browsing, perfect all, all singing, dancing. What's this now? Page unresponsive. Well, why is it not doing anything? Anyway, so that's that's the uh, the trials and tribulations of getting a new laptop. Microsoft to try to sort it all out, so you only stick with Microsoft stuff. I don't use anything to do with Microsoft. It's absolute crap. Um, when I first started building PCs, why Windows was not just on a on a little chip. You know, you had to have a disk and all that. And then as as the years progressed, they, they've tried to close it in and close it in and close it in. So everything you do is just for them. I don't know what this is saying. Anyway, I'll come back to you with what I said to you earlier on about Filmora and then that's it then. And we'll see whether this is a lot faster than that one. But uh, rendering, rendering stuff with a Pentium 4. <laughs> what a lot of fun. Right, we've done it. We've set it all up. I've put that thing back on just to protect it. And uh, there we go. We're all set up. No problem. So all I've got to do now is take this out and edit it on there. And uh, I'll do a bit of video in and just show you what the editing's like. You know, the, the rendering and all that, so you know how fast it is. I'm hoping it's faster than that. But anyway, so that's uh, the, Le is it, what was it? Lenovo. Lenovo laptop. I'll probably end up calling it a HP because that's what the other one was. Now do you turn this mouse off? Yes you do, you turn the mouse off. There we go, off. There's the mouse. So there we go. 
all done. New laptop for job. I don't know. Right, so I've just had to re-log into Filmora and it's logged me out of the other one so I can't use two computers. So I'm going to click export now. Now this six minute video would usually take uh, at least half an hour. So let's just see what this takes now. What kind of videos do you create? How to? Submit. Right, so we're on nine minutes. So that's two thirds of the time I've saved. So you can see there. Now nine minutes is fantastic. That would that could take 40 minutes that video usually. 40 minutes rendering and 40 minutes for downloading to my laptop but that's before I even upload it to YouTube or anywhere else so I think that's spot on. Uh, a wise decision buying another laptop. Anyway, there you go. So there you have it, the Lenovo. I haven't got it plugged in at the minute, it's, it's uh, downloading the video that I've just created to my laptop. Uh, whereas it would usually take at least 40 minutes maybe. It's taking nine. So what a time saver. So there you go. But what a faff trying to get this S mode that Microsoft have created. Uh, why did why I don't understand that. Why why do that? Well, it's obvious it's for their money. They only wanted to get their apps. Um, we're on another day now. It took me a day to set it all up. Anyway, so we're all done now. So there you go. That's the Lenovo laptop, and I, I'd recommend it. Don't forget, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't earn any money from YouTube. I don't get any, anything sent to me by anybody else. Anything I buy is what I need for me, including all my lights. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, be lucky, and I'll see you soon.